Uh, my name is Josh Rand. I'm Corey Taylor. Uh, from Stone Sour. House of Golden Bones Part 2 comes out April 9th, and uh, the, it's about eight days before the comic book. Uh, the first issue of uh, House of Golden Bones on Dark Horse Comics comes out April 17th. I think the coolest thing is just the diversity in the music and another progression within the band. Um, we got a little bit more experimental on this record than any of the previous records. Uh, a little bit more layering, dis uh, different instrumentation that's ever been used on any of the previous Stone Sour records. Um, it's a continuation uh, of the journey that started with uh, part one. I am on a gradual process of quitting smoking. You can't go from two packs a day to dead, okay? I'm doing my best right now. As you know, I'm carrying my electric cigarette. I'm using that as a crutch of sorts. Um, but I've got myself down to about seven or eight cigarettes a day. So from two packs to seven or eight cigarettes, I mean, that's doing pretty good. So leave me alone, lady. Yeah, I mean, that's essentially the plan, you know. Uh, what we want to do is next year is to do a very comprehensive uh, world tour where we do two nights in one venue. And the first night we played part one, top to bottom. And night two, we do part two, top to bottom, with a very involved stage setting and whatnot, and a lot of moving parts and, and everything. Um, it's going to take some practice, going to take some work, but I, I think it's... Uh, it's something that we're we're all kind of really excited about, you know. I mean, we've never done anything like this before, so it's going to be really cool. Plus, we'll be doing like a mixed bag of encore stuff, like at the end of every night um, from the first three albums. So uh, it'll be it'll be really cool. I, I think it's something that uh, we're definitely going to try and capture um, to put out on DVD, um, like probably late 2014 if we can get it together in time. But I, I think it's something that we're all really really. Uh, excited about the, the, the idea of. I think we just, uh, it was approached the same way that we always had. I think Corey had the concept and the story idea and then it was just gathering everybody's music and then I guess you had the daunting task of kind of putting, putting it all together, it all together yeah, and, yeah. and uh, from a lyrical standpoint making everything flow in and out of one another. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that, was a, that was the challenge, you know, I mean, because there was so much good music coming in that I, I really wanted to make sure that the music kind of reflected the narrative of, of what was going on at the time and in the song, you know, so a real, essentially the challenge became, you know, you know, reworking my lyrics, which I never do, um, into the narrative and making sure that it was, you know, very righteous and, and, uh, and, and moved with, with the story as well. Um, but other than that, I mean, it, everything else really was pretty easy, you know? I mean, even down to, you know, the songs kind of arranging themselves when it came to the sequencing on the, on the albums. I mean, it was, it was pretty cool, you know? Everything really felt natural, falling where it needed to, in, in, uh, especially on part one. I mean, part one kind of arranged itself at the end of the day, and it just so happened that it really moved really well with the story. Um, the comic book is essentially, it's a four-part miniseries that, uh, that we're releasing through Dark Horse. And uh, it's basically the, the visual representation of the short story that I wrote for the, for the two albums. And um, it's, uh, it's kind of cool, you know, from a, from a comic book fan like myself, I'm still kind of pinching myself going, I'm really writing a comic, this is awesome. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's cool seeing everything kind of come together on that and that end it's it's much slower it's, it's a slower process but it's so worth it you know and uh, you know you kind of you, you kind of have this idea of what it's gonna look like and then you see it and it's kind of like what you saw but then it's more you know so it's uh, I, I'm really ecstatic it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a monthly so um, you know April 17th the first part will come out and it's gonna be great Uh, Roy's doing great, um, you know, full recovery from the stroke, um, I think he's playing right now the best that he's played ever, yeah. you know, um, 
as far as the bass player, um, Johnny Chow is uh, doing those duties. Uh, he's a friend of the band. Uh, we actually toured with him and Systematic on the first Stone Sour run. Yeah. And uh, things are great. Yeah, I mean, he's bananas, dude. Yeah. He's bananas, dude, he's bananas. I think the band right now is um, as solid as it's ever been. I mean, I think the band is super tight. Everybody's focused, everybody's having fun. Yeah, yeah, the band's in a really good spot right now. It it's, it's, hasn't felt this good in a while, so. Well, obviously I have red damn hair. I can't grow a black beard, you know? I mean, I just, you know, I, I was, I've just been kind of in a beard mood lately, you know? Like, especially wearing these corduroys. Look at that. I mean, it, it just kind of, you know, it matches, lines up. I can't go goth with a bright red beard, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, low blow. Oh. Low blow. Wow, wow. I, I, you know, what it, what do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have... Always next year. Uh, I have... Yeah, you I know have... what? There's 31 other teams in two weeks that are going to be disappointed. I mean, there's 30 teams right now that are disappointed. Yeah. One of them is going to be disappointed. So, um, you know, with that being said, honestly, it was a great season. I really didn't expect them to get as far as they did. Um, and, you know, I think everybody got to see... Um, how gifted Julio Jones is and how much of a monster he's going to be wow. for the next 10 years. Yeah, he's so, sick. You know, the, it's depressing right now, but like you said, there's always next year, and I think the, the team's uh, best days are ahead of them. Yeah, I, I don't think they have anything to be ashamed of. I mean, they gave everything they had, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, yeah. Old hat. <laughs> <laughs> your behavior.